Yo, what's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard. I'm about to meet up with Anthony and the boys. It's Easter weekend, and I'm out here with the Porsche Taycan, and we're at church for a funeral. The funeral is for the electric car. I don't even think it's faster than my car, to be honest. And on top of that, for $100,000, there's too much plastic in this car. What I do have to say I like is this dash. It's pretty futuristic. Man. At least I know I can hide a body in that bitch. That's all it's good for. <laughs> sleeping in. Hey, can we bomb a yeah. charge, please? Oh, it's all wrapped up, bro. Open it, don't, don't, 50 bucks if I open this. And don't open it, bro. Don't open oh, it. Don't you're open getting it. billed. That's awesome. So then, he was don't like, say words like that in here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This like, is shit. This is crap. <laughs> What is this shit? <laughs> is the car on oh, yet? Oh crap! So they gave me this as a loaner. Yeah. How are you supposed to charge it? There's no places to charge this shit. Oh, you, you can't, can't use the Tesla like chargers? The... No. He said, oh, if it gets low, just come back here. Yeah, I'm gonna minutes. drive all the way to fucking Maitland. Are you for real? There's nowhere else you can charge it. Unless Ooh, you're shit. planning on sitting somewhere for a minute. Yeah. I've never seen one of those normal chargers. They have them. <laughs> I've never seen one. You were in my car that one time. Does it feel faster? It, this is so it's, it's more punchier. Yeah. The base model Taycan's probably like low 100. Yeah, it starts at 100 something. <sighs> It's Porsche pricing, man. Yeah. I honestly don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna turn back around at this next light. Yeah. And we'll see. I get pulled over. I might get pulled over, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's soup this bitch up. We're in drive mode range. Oh, sport plus everything. Chassis Dude, assistance zero. Oh, Comfort oh, not needed. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you're a driver, remember? Like you, you, <laughs> like, you wouldn't let me drive your car because I, I can't drive. <laughs> they change the system. This is just using fucking setting. This is using electric <laughs> that we could be using for the flux capacitor in the back. Like, I would never. Buy this car. Tesla. That's because of this. It ain't yeah, it. This is, I can get this in my forty thousand dollar Ford. That's the first thing yeah, I noticed when I got in the car. That, that no, I, I would get bored very quickly. Man, that accelerates it? as hard as my Ford Fusion. Ninety six. No theater. There's no. <laughs> in a Ford. There's no excitement. Dash is not too bad. A lot better than Mustangs. Look at that though, holy crap. <laughs> Park in the handicap parking because we're mentally handicapped for driving this. You hear that? Stick with the flat six Porsche, please. Yeah. Golly. We're getting into all this shit. What the hell? Okay, Porsche, we'll put your $100,000 car together for you. What else is over here? Oh, a first aid kit for when you hurt somebody's feelings. <laughs> That's why he won't line up with the GT350. <laughs> we did once, we did a roll. I've got a bigger wing on it, so I've got more drag, so oh, okay, let's no. go. On paper, my stats are... Paper don't matter. <laughs> but anyway, let me check out your wheels, man. Where did you get them powder coated? Turtle coatings up in North Deland. Who did the color first, bro? Uh, it's almost the same color I have. Almost. almost. It's a shade lighter, I think. The one in a satin color. It doesn't jump out at you. It doesn't take away from the paint job. Yeah. You guys have a website yet? Yeah. yeah. Fuck the website, dude. I'm trying to get free marketing. I'm trying to get you free marketing. He's sleeping on it. Performancecarbonparts.com. Check it out, guys. These guys are making some crazy. Mustang and Corvette carbon fiber yeah. parts. Yep. They're all aftermarket, right? Yep. Chop up the hood. This is a real vent? Yep. Damn. My brake pads on my front. I went metal to metal at the last track day. It's $5,000. There's no way. Because they probably code you rotors they and rotors. We will do it. I don't know anybody who drives these cars. We're not doing it because I'm getting rid of the car. Bro. Well, if the light comes on, we're gonna have to Oh, do if it. the light comes on, then I'm fucked. Yeah, we'll do it. If you go take the sensor out now, then it won't wear through the sensor, and then we won't have to change that as well. If that happens, this guy will be the certified tech for the day. I saw a YouTube video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I learned a lot of stuff. The first thing I learned was don't go to every fucking car show just because you have the car. Yo. Car shows that are like 200 miles from your house. Give a shit. For no reason. For cloud. Cloud doesn't give you money. $20,000 worth of bills uh, kind of sucks. When I get the McLaren or whatever I, I car I cherry get, pick my events. Yeah. I don't go to every event. I just get certain ones that are very specific and I make sure people know that I'm you know, going yeah. to <laughs> I'm gonna head out here. I'm like, embarrassing us out here in front, of the, in front of the people, the spectators and shit. Like, what the fuck are these two clowns doing? Head out and try and make this review. I'm gonna shit on this car. I'm letting you guys know right now I'm shitting on the car. I don't like it, bro. I really don't like it. It's, I feel like it's slow as fuck. You're sacrificing too much. You're sacrificing the theatrics of the car, sound, for supposed performance. I think this is the base model. It has to be the base model. There's no way because it's not fast. You can feel a little bit of the torque in the beginning, but then it dies down fairly quickly. And for $100,000, I was expecting this car to be a rocket ship. Let's find a place to park, and I'll go over some of the details of the car. It's Easter weekend, and I'm out here with the Porsche Taycan, and we're at church for a funeral. The funeral is for the electric car. I've been driving for the last few days while my car is in the shop, and unfortunately, I got to say that I am not impressed with this car. Looking at the interior, the first thing I noticed when I got in the car, this. 
This is plastic. Let me get this right. You're paying over $100,000 and you still have all of this plastic in the interior of the car. There's plastic everywhere. There's plastic up here. All of this is plastic. Look at this. There's scuff marks already on this. You got the luxury seats. I do like the seats. They're pretty comfortable compared to the seats in my car. For $100,000, this thing better massage my entire body and it doesn't. I have to give Porsche some credit. The styling in the interior is awesome. Soft lighting in here. The screens don't look out of place at all, especially the screen for the dash. Very futuristic. A lot of cars like the Teslas have the giant screens, but they just look out of place. It looks like somebody just stuck an iPad in the center of the car. Just like my car, you do have a trunk in the front and you also have a trunk in the back. Looks like this does have a trunk in the front. But look how small it is. Less than half the size of my trunk. This hood, when I lifted it up, felt so heavy. This is a very heavy car and you can feel it. I'm really disappointed in the acceleration. I thought that this was gonna take off like a rocket. I only have a GT4 Spider, and this car doesn't feel as fast as the GT4 Spider. If you're gonna pay more than $100,000, $150,000 for a car, I'm expecting that car to smoke any other car that lines up with it. Especially it being electric, because I think that a Tesla might be faster than this. Styling, I do like the front of the car, the rest of it, Maybe if it was a two-door coupe, but a four-door car like this, I don't know. And then the biggest downfall of the move to electric cars for Porsche is that where are you supposed to charge this? You can't charge this at the Tesla charging stations. So you're either gonna charge at your house all night long or you have to go to a dealership. I think that the person or the company that comes up with an adapter and a converter for Tesla to normal EVs is gonna make a fortune because this to me seems useless. Like if I was an owner of one of these cars, where can I go with this? The car only has 250 mile range. I don't know if you could make it to Miami with this. Keep in mind, this is a base model Taycan. I'm sure that the higher tiers are probably faster than this one, but even so, I would never trade in my GT4 for this car. This is an old man's car, but if you're trying to be flashy, stand out, it's not the car for that. Anyways, guys, those were just my thoughts on the Taycan. Maybe for some people it would be what they're looking for, but I will have to say it's a strong pass for me. I don't like it. I like a little bit of the styling in the front. Overall, I feel like it's a heavy car. It's not that fast. There's no sound. There's no motion in the car. It feels soulless. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching.